Welcome to a quick overview video of a Foodworks Online free trial. In this video, I will provide an overview of signing up and using the free trial to help you get started and to provide you with information to help select the edition that is right for you. In this video, I will cover signing up for a free trial, the workspace dashboard, workspaces available in a free trial, and the sample workspaces. I will then show you how to create a professional workspace and a nutrition labeling workspace, followed by modifying your organization settings and completing payment to begin your subscription. There is quite a bit to cover, so let's begin. To create your free trial, head to the Foodworks online website and select try for free. You will then need to enter your profile details, which includes your name, email address and password. You then need to read the terms of service and agree to them before clicking the sign up button. After this, you will see this screen, which will ask you to create or join an organization. As you are trialing Foodworks Online, it is unlikely you will already be in an organization, so you will need to select Create a New Organization. Your organization is where all the work you do in Foodworks Online will be stored, which includes the workspaces you create and all of the resources and information within them. Even if you are a solo Foodworks user, you still need to create an organization. Once you have created an organization, you are then the organization owner. This means you can modify the settings of your organization, such as editing contact details, billing details, updating your payment method, and editing your subscription. If down the track, you invite other users to join your organization, you will have the highest permissions as the organization owner for all users in that organization. For example, you will be the only person that can modify your subscription and no one else in your organization will have that same permission. The name of your Foodworks Online organization is entirely up to you. If you are signing up for your business, you may like to call your organization your business name. If you are a solo Foodworks user, you could simply write your name as your organization name if you like. Keep in mind that you can change the name of your organization at a later date if you wish, which I will show you how to do later in this video. You can also select an organization type from the drop down and enter in an ABN if you wish. However, these fields are optional. Then enter your billing address and billing contact details and select commence 14 day free trial. It is important to understand that your free trial is a trial of Foodworks Online Duo, which is the Foodworks edition that includes both professional and nutrition labeling features. You may already know the edition that you require when signing up for your free trial. However, those that don't will be able to trial both professional and nutrition labeling to help them decide which edition is right for them. In short, the professional edition is typically utilized by dietitians, nutritionists, diabetes educators, and other health and wellness professionals for dietary analysis and the creation of recipes and meal plans. Nutrition labeling is typically utilized by food technologists, recipe developers, quality managers, and other professionals who formulate and label food products. Duo is then used by people and businesses that require the features of both professional and nutrition labeling. Now let's get back to the free trial. Once you've created your account and you've logged into Foodworks Online, you will see this screen, which is your workspace dashboard. Your workspace dashboard displays all of the workspaces you have access to. You can think of a workspace as being a folder to store all of your data. When you log in for the first time, you will see two example workspaces on your workspace dashboard. One is called Sample Professional Workspace, which contains examples of clients and resources such as food records, recipes, and meal plans. The other is called Sample Nutrition Labeling Workspace, which contains examples of raw materials, sub recipes, and recipes. These sample workspaces may be helpful for you to look at before creating your own. Keep in mind that once you have created your own workspace, these sample workspaces will disappear from your dashboard. However, you can create them again, which I will show you how to do. 
If you want to have a look at either one of these workspaces before creating your own, simply click the workspace you wish to view and it will be created. Let's have a quick look at the sample professional workspace. Once it has been created, in the navigation pane on the left side of the screen, you can see the sample workspace resources such as meal plans, recipes and foods. To view them, simply click the name of the resource to open it. For example, I can open a food, a recipe or a meal plan. You can also quickly identify which type of resource it is by the icon displayed next to the resource name. On the left side of the screen, you can also click the client icon to navigate to the client section. Here, you can see examples of clients and when you click on a client name to open it, you can also see the client specific resources. Now, to navigate back to the workspace dashboard, you can click the Foodworks Online logo at the top left of the screen. You can now see the sample professional workspace on your dashboard because you clicked it to create it, but the sample nutrition labeling workspace has disappeared. If you would also like to view the sample nutrition labeling workspace before creating your own, you can do this by clicking the create workspace button in the top right corner of the workspace dashboard screen and selecting nutrition labeling. Then you will need to write a name for your workspace such as sample NL workspace and select a color. I will select blue. Now you can select the sample workspace checkbox and click create. We have now created a nutrition labeling workspace with the sample data. On the navigation pane on the left side of the screen, you will find various raw materials, sub recipes and recipes. Again, to view these resources, simply click on the name to open them. For example, I can open a raw material, a sub recipe or a recipe. Now, to navigate back to the Workspace dashboard, you can select the Foodworks Online logo or select the Workspace drop down in the top bar and then click View All Workspaces. Keep in mind, you don't need to create and look at the sample workspaces before making your own, but they are very useful for people that have never logged into Foodworks Online before and would like to have a look at what the software can do before diving in and making their own workspaces and their own resources. Now that we have created and viewed the sample workspaces, let's create our own. To create a new workspace, click the Create Workspace button in the top right corner of the Workspace dashboard screen and then choose to create either a professional or nutrition labeling workspace. First, I will create a professional workspace and name it Professional Workspace 1 and select green for the color. After that, I will click the Create button, which will then place me in my new Workspace Settings section. On the side navigation bar on the left hand side of your screen, you can go to the Resources section and click the Create button to create foods, recipes and meal plans. You can also go to the Client section where you can create a client and use the foods, recipes and meal plans you made in the Resource section or create foods, recipes, meal plans, 24 hour recalls and food records that are specific to individual clients. For a more in-depth overview of using a professional workspace, please watch the quick overview video for Foodworks Online Professional. Now let's go back to the workspace dashboard and create a nutrition labeling workspace instead. Again, to create a new workspace, Click the Create Workspace button in the top right corner of the Workspace dashboard screen and then choose Nutrition Labeling. I will name it Nutrition Labeling Workspace 1, make it pink and then click the Create button. In a Nutrition Labeling Workspace, on the side navigation bar on the left hand side of the screen, there are four sections. Resources, Bulk Edit, Tools and Settings. In the resources section, you can create raw materials, sub recipes and recipes. In the bulk edit section, you can edit the health star rating and country of origin labeling information for all of the raw materials in your workspace. In the tools section is where you can publish your labeling information or download health star rating and country of origin labeling assets in a zip file. 
For a more in-depth overview of using a nutrition labeling workspace, please watch the quick overview video for Foodworks Online Nutrition Labeling. Now let's go back to the workspace dashboard. From here, you can see your workspaces, including the two sample workspaces and the two example workspaces that we just created. You can see these on the workspace dashboard and also in the workspaces table. Now that you know how to make a workspace, let's discuss the other settings you can access in your organization. As you can see, there are three icons in the top right corner next to your organization name. The first is a help button, which when clicked will take you directly to the Foodworks Online support site where you can ask questions, access support articles, or submit a support request. The second icon will take you to your organization settings. On the users tab is where you can invite other users to your organization only once your trial has finished. You cannot use this function during your free trial. In the subscription and billing section, you can manage your subscription, payment method, and billing details. You can also update your organization details, such as the organization name, as I mentioned earlier in the video. To change your organization name, select the billing details and history tab and click edit in the organization details box. I'm not going to change my organization name now, so I will exit out of this. The next tab is the security tab where you can modify the automatic timeout period as well as enable two-factor authentication or grant Xyrus support remote access to your account for technical support purposes. The third icon can be used to edit your profile details such as your email address and password, send feedback about Foodworks Online or log out. From here, you can navigate back to your workspace dashboard by clicking the Foodworks Online logo or the Back to Workspace dashboard button. Lastly, during your free trial, you will see a banner at the top of your screen that details how many days remain in your free trial. Once your free trial has ended, you will need to select the addition, plan and number of users to proceed with your subscription. If you already know the addition you want to purchase, or you just wish to proceed with your subscription during your trial, you can click the Pay Now button. After selecting Pay Now, you will see this table with a comparison of all of the available Foodworks editions to choose from. You can also select the number of users for your organization and toggle between a monthly or annual subscription. I will select an annual subscription for two users for nutrition labeling. After selecting the edition and the plan, you will need to enter your payment details to finalize your subscription. This brings us to the end of the video. I hope this video helps get you started with your Foodworks Online free trial. If you have any questions throughout your free trial, please do not hesitate to get in touch with our friendly support team. You can also access more video resources such as the overview videos for professional and nutrition labeling by clicking the thumbnail on this screen. Thank you for watching.